They were burned, they were without organs, they were butchered completely, they were slaughtered to the core. You had heads roaming around, you had breasts of women roaming around, and yeah. I just wanted to focus a bit more on the, on the practicalities of gathering evidence. We didn't even have the authorities, they didn't have to use extreme measures to extract the stories and the evidence that the terrorists that were caught are telling today. They are coming and proudly telling the stories and the horrors of the rapes and the sexual assaults. This was beyond rape and this was beyond sexual assault. It was about demeaning a woman's body to the core and because she was Jewish. I sent letters to each and every women organization of the world and I got zero response. Who did you send them to? All, all of it, I can give you the list and I can show you the video and I can show you the letters. I will show you all the list. International Alliance of Women, United Nations Human Rights Council, United Nations Entity for Gender Equality and the Empowerment of Women, United Nations Women's Peace and Security Agenda, World Health Organization, the Special Repertoire on Extrajudicial Summary of Arbitrary Executions, Special Repertoire on the Right of Health, Independent Expert on Human Rights and International Solidarity, Independent Expert on Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity, Working Group on Discrimination Against Women and Girls, Committee on the Elimination of Discrimination Against women, the Commission on the Status of Women, and the Association for Women's Rights in Development. I've turned to all these organizations, which they are the leaders of women's rights around the world, by letters, by telephones, by emails, and by videos. Nothing. Nothing. And you know what? I'm not asking anything. Just condemn it. Just make sure that you care about what women have gone through. Make sure you care about what women are now going through when they are abducted in Gaza.